All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Hopefully, uh, everyone had a really good weekend. Um, so I was actually supposed to start 30 minutes ago, but I wound up having to manage uh, like my Twitters and shit. So I'm gonna refresh all this once again, because uh, it did refresh properly. The problem is it was 30 minutes ago or 10, 20 minutes ago. Uh, so let's do this just in case. All right, 931. Okay. Uh, no, it's messing up my Firestone shit. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. So I've actually been playing quite a bit of uh, EverQuest. So it's as old as that game is. It's actually kind of nice because there's like, it's very easy to play in a very casual manner, right? And the world is so vast and so few people few people play it that you can actually just have content to yourself and there's just no way he bothers you. So I just treat it more like a very fun, like, uh, idle game. So, you know, I wound up making a fifth, a fifth account. <laughs> um, so, uh, and of course, me trying new things, I actually find out that if I went full DPS, like, I don't even bother healing, like, I can actually drop uh, mo uh, monsters so quickly. It's actually kind of nice. But anyway, I've been kind of... Just taking time off from due to stress uh, from coding, so uh, so I'm kind of hoping eh, I have to lift weights today. So hopefully I can do so, even a little bit of coding today, just to make sure my programming skills don't atrophy too much. <clears throat> All right. So anyway, I didn't really do too much uh, research. So let's see. Bitcoin searches for last week are finalizing at 13. Of course, nothing's showing for this week because it's Tuesday. Uh, why well, I have my own thing here. There we go. So Bitcoin down to 56.74%. So yeah, across the board, crypto. So crypto has been struggling to you know go back up. So something's happening. 11,505 for Bitcoin. Uh, Litecoin is now on, is now sixty dollars. Sadly, very irritating. Uh, what's Dogecoin? Uh, four twenty two point forty three million market cap. So it's pretty much about the same. Uh, so yeah, the 30 day change is starting to drop a little bit, but I guess we'll have to see. Uh, 24 hour volume is still like okay, but not the greatest. Stocks for neutral, looks like stocks went up yesterday. I think, it, oh yeah, I didn't do a video yesterday. Feds may not mandate a coronavirus. Oh really? Well, like, technically they can, but I want to actually read that. That's really important because I'm, I'm, I'm going to resist the vaccine for sure. Uh, Remel's doing very well. That's good because I actually bought some more Remel for like for eighty dollars worth. So I bought twenty shares because I had dividends. And I bought it at like four dollars and four cents. So now I'm up sixteen cents a share for twenty shares. I'm actually way up more, but you know, until 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 everything goes back to normal, if that's even possible, you know, you know, it's gonna be a gonna be some time before like what. Six, seven, eight thousand dollars turns into like a hundred and twenty thousand dollars, I think, right? Um, but we'll have to see. Stock futures jump after officials tout progress on a China trade deal. Yes. Uh, yeah, but everything's co uh, co coming along just nicely because I'm looking at, um, you know, the Twitters. You know, uh, all the riots, especially with the latest one, they're getting pretty. Uh, they're starting to actually alienate a lot of Democrats, and now they're actually switching over to Republican. I mean, the problem is you still have to worry about mail-in fraud. So, you know, but we'll have to see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's a nice looking missile battery. Uh, okay, All right, I don't want to look at the rest. Uh, no Toyota for. Yeah, I mean the the RNC is just uh, the Republican National Committee. It's just, they're just controlled opposition at this point. There's I refuse to believe someone is that fucking dumb. Like, like considering the amount of intelligence and hard work that goes into getting elected uh, as a as a, you know, a public official, or it's local, state, or even national, right? In this case, we just or all of them. Like, there's just no way. That like you know you're just not gonna bring up like clearly obvious things like the riots like we have we have one in Kenosha Wisconsin because they shot the black guy in the back right but that's because he refused re arrest the cop uh, the cops are like hey stop stop and then he just walks and he's actually walking to his car seat and they found a gun under the thing so it was actually a justified shooting even though it looked pretty bad um, and that's the other thing too like in New York City like. Like, cops don't usually try to, like, at least here, they don't actually try to kill you. What they do is they actually just immediately shoot you in the leg, and then nothing really happens to the cops. And that's actually much better. Like, apparently, other police departments don't have that. They just, 
kill you or don't do anything. It's like literally passive aggressive, which is the common classic flaw of being a conservative or a Christian. Like we're just passive aggressive. Like there's no moderation, right? It, it would be a lot better, you know? So, oh, well, uh, it's just going to be, uh, it's going to be tough. All right. But anyway, you know, uh, we'll get the game out because, uh, because the save function actually seems to be working. Uh, um, I haven't worked on it yet because I have to still replace models and projectiles. But a guy, uh, but a bunch of people, step, a couple of people stepped up on the Psalm 10 thread. He actually told me, yeah, one he one guy was able to figure it out all on his own. But he, he clearly uh, is a really good programmer to begin with. And the other one like just did the easy save, fifty dollar asset, and he said it just it's like a save state and a load state, just like. But the way it sounds, it's almost like the emulators I play. Like when I play really old games. So it's like, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. So yeah, like I, I can get the game out for sure then. You know, I just, I just got to grind it out. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. GMC coins at 7 and 8 are so doing very well. Now I know why, because everything's going down in price. Uh, but GMC has been doing really rock sell. It's like 300 bucks a day in volume. Uh, I'm not sure what's causing it, but oh well. 60, 60 to 65, I guess, for 404 coin. Um, I, I think at this point, it's pretty obvious that Mitch is just gone. I don't know what happened to him. Two by two is at 22 to 24. Uh, but even if he does contact me again, I'm just going to be like, eh, whatever. I'm, I'm just like, it's like, you're just, you're just under a lie. You just literally disappear for weeks on end, and you just can't get your personal problems uh, under control. All right, so I'm just going to be making my own cryptos, right? Uh, so yeah, two by two is, you know, doing also kind of well, 22 to 24. I wish it would, the price was higher, but you know, it's just how it goes. Rix is dropping as always 16 to 22. I'm very annoyed with that. Uh, 100 coins. It's actually been, uh, been having a very, like a lot of people want it for a lot cheaper. People just don't want to buy it for this high. Um, I'm going to actually be, uh, uh, because I already listed speed coin. That's the name of the crypto. We'll get to that in a sec. I correct. So. I had to come up with some money for uh, like this uh, gambling site and then list these coins on that gambling site. So there'll be some kind of use case. Technically, I believe 2x2, two two, JMC, and 404 coin have uh, uh, are listed on or coin games as well. All right. So anyway, uh, right now the price is around, I guess, 18 to 30. 29 satoshis of a bitcoin i mean the problem is there's just I mean, i've improved i've improved the advertising right by just creating categories so i'm spending the same amount of money but the clicks and the click the click percentage is way higher now it's like 10 to 20 percent so we're definitely getting more targeted traffic to this but you know, i still have to like you know uh let uh get the use case going and then just kind of ride this one out so uh, yeah, so it sucks that the price dropped so much, but it really is just like it shouldn't be finding like this is just way too damn low. Like this is you know, and of course you know we're not you know it's it's hard to dump right because it's it's impossible to. So uh, what you would call it? So because again it's fixed 100 coins and I have a lot of the supply obviously. So you know obviously I'm just not going to ruin the coin. Um, yeah, and then, a, and then a block difficulty continues to increase, but the problem is it's still producing at most 144,000 coins a day. So it's very easy for the supply, the maximum supply to keep doubling pretty quickly. It gets slower over time, but I really wished I could go back in time and tell myself, man, I should set this to 10 coins instead of 100 coins. But it's obviously too late, so. Anyway, uh, so speed coin is the same thing essentially, but it's just five coins each. I, I, this time I made sure to make it very low, so we won't have this stupid problem, right? Once 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 uh, hundred coin stabilizes, maybe it'll go back up to a hundred, but it should definitely be hovering around thirty because that's ten times the amount of um, bit beans, and we're producing ten times less than bit beans. So like these prices are just like like total fucking bullshit. Like it's very aggravating. But people are interested, so uh, I'm just gonna have to just try to again. Like I'm really hoping that gambling site's gonna help, you know, because we just need some kind of you know uh, use case. Uh, even though I don't like gambling myself, but you know, not really much you can do. Uh, nothing new here. 
Bitcoin in the early stages, so you can get the wallet now. Um, but uh, I just, I just, uh, I literally just paid Crex as soon as I woke up like an hour and a half ago. So um, hold on, let me manage this. Uh, okay. do that all right so um yeah so it's probably gonna be another week or so uh but yeah everything's good you know because even with these crappy prices i'm still actually able to make decent income with my 100 coins so i'll be able to use it to keep reinvesting the projects you know get uh, speed coin up and running uh and then i'll have my income back i think like uh, like between this this between 100 coin Speed coin, uh, let's see, and 2x2 two two coin, interestingly enough, is my current highest earner. Yeah, I'll be able to do okay again on money. And then I'm actually really thinking about just, see, the thing is my lease is up is, is up in a few months. But I really don't feel like moving in a few months. I want to move sometime next year. Uh, but I do want to leave New York City. It's like, I, but I don't know, like, see, let's say Trump loses. I'm only going to have, like, less, like, three weeks and I don't want to live with my mom and dad because they're just, you know, even temporarily while I look for an apartment in Tampa, Florida, right? I don't want them in coming up in my face and shit. I don't know. I will see. Anyway, uh, Trump's going, yeah, so Trump's been having some problems. 17 to 13%. Now he's going up and down a bit. Uh, it's kind of interesting. The good news is Democrats still are kind of screwing everything up. Um, Johnson Chan Twitter. Actually, I'm just, I'm actually curious. Why was I just typing in my own name? Uh, okay. Which, this is actually the other Johnson Chan guy. He's actually some dude in Hong Kong. I wonder if he's, I wonder if he's doing okay, though. I mean, kind of hoping, uh, it'd be bad karma if another Johnson Chan just gets, like, whacked, in this case, by, like, the, C the Chinese Communist Party, right? The CCP. All right, a C-SPAN caller, a Democrat just called in and said he's switching his registry to Republican because he's concerned about crime. Uh, calls that have been heavily focused on crime, how Democrats are becoming increasingly radical. Yeah, so this is in Oregon, he thinks. So basically what's happening is the shit libs are really just pissing everybody off, right? Because now, because what's happening is Black Lives Matter and all these uh, anti-white idiots are just going up to random white people and just screaming at their faces and then beating them up and burning their neighborhoods down. So now all of a sudden, all that virtue signaling is like, okay, what is this bullshit? Uh, Jake Lloyd, uh, he said he's on vacation right now. But, um... Whatchamacallit. Yeah, I mean, he, he does be really rough on the edges. Uh, you know, and I obviously did not retweet any of those really rough tweets. But this is generally uncharacteristic of him to actually say something nice about China. You know, so that's that's why that's why I like the Groypers and anyone affiliated because, yeah, they're rough. But at the end of the day, they, they just love America. They love Christianity and they actually seek the truth. Which is what I like too. The only difference is I'm not as rough, right? Especially now that I don't do political videos, right? Not anymore. So yeah. So yeah, well, I think we'll be in good hands. Uh, what I seen at Derek Carline Kenosha, uh, like now I just don't really give a shit, right? I mean, I can always just. I, mean, I already have. I already have a. I have a different backup plan in in, uh, in place. So when people start bugging me about retweeting uh, Nick, I'm just going to just go all out. Like, all right, here here's how the fake news terrorists hate white people. Here's forty thousand whites die every. Like, I'll actually look for. I still remember Andrew Yang's tweet. I'm, like, in a, in a way, I take. I learned from Mike Cernovich, and now I do it in my own way. All right, but this time I'll actually fucking fight for America because I love this country. Right? If I really didn't like it, I wouldn't be here. Right? I'd be hiding out in like South Korea or something. Which is where I'm actually going to flee if Trump loses the election and things start getting very violently bad. I'll still have my possessions in America though. So, And my income is... one. Uh, my income of 100000 or 108000 I have to check the IRS regulations. Up to that is completely tax exempt. Like you don't pay taxes if you're living in uh, outside the U.S. as an expat. Right? Not, not to be confused with, you gave up your U.S. citizenship, and then you're that kind of expat. Anyway, when I see Kenosha, Wisconsin explode last night due to three months of race riots, uh, I'm really thinking about voting for the Republicans this year because of their support for opportunity zones and black communities. 
Yeah, this is actually what's going to piss people off, right? Because this is like the Republican Party is just fucking worthless. So I retweet that. Uh, Matthew has become a Catholic today. Uh, that's yeah, that's good. Uh, Jake Floyd is actually Protestant, so he, he seems to have a thing against Catholics or something. I'm, I'm not sure. Like uh, he he went off on a kind of angry rant for a couple of weeks uh, a couple of weeks ago. So or was maybe last month. But he seems to have calmed down a bit since then. You know, I think about riots, they're fair. So yeah, um, so Black Lives Matter burned down like Kenosha, and they actually went after a far left uh, church that had a Black Lives Matter sign that was burning. <laughs> so I just tell you, like, like people see shit like it's like, wait, we backed you. But there's one thing I've learned, right? And this applies a lot to conservatives, but now it's starting to apply to the liberals. Is that empathy is very important. When, when people show you empathy and then you still fuck them over in the ass and betray them and in this case burn down their livelihoods, they'll be like, what the fuck, man? We, we backed you, right? You know, one of the reasons why conservatives would convert over to, say, Democrats is, say, you know, we backed you, we backed the cops, and then now you're saying it's my you know, husband's fault that you shot him up even though it, we have our right to be here kind of thing. I mean, that's what turns people, uh, you know, against their own side because you didn't. Like, it's like you're, you're a murdering, unempathetic asshole, you know. So I'm kind of glad that liberals might actually be starting to see that finally, uh, even though I haven't seen that word, uh, uh, anyone t uh, mention it because obviously no one cares about empathy, which is bad. Uh, but because of that, where is the tweet? But because of that, now that's why we're getting stuff like this. So hopefully, even with the mail and fraud, now Twitter's trying to censor that. Um, you know, Trump might be able to... Like, this is actually... Like, I still don't like this at all because it's such a big gap, 14%. But to ta assuming, assuming both the RNC can somehow mail fraud back the Democrats, the off 7%, that, uh, to, it's only a 7% gap, like Joe Biden down 7, Trump goes up 7%. That means you only need to change 7% of the vote. But those changes are already there because a lot of people are going to do hit and Trump voting. Right? And people might actually be getting more bold because they just see these stupid, retarded riots. So, uh, And that's good because obviously it's going to be, we need Trump back in because I want a stable economic situation and he'll be able to finally lift uh, this lockdown hoax. So, Feds may not mandate a coronavirus vaccine, but states, schools, and employers can. Yeah, they can. Um, uh, you know, who gags? For how they occur, you know, whether it will work at all. Still, there's one concern that remains. Can governments, uh, which are current conservatives, to accelerate the development of the vaccine forcibly inoculate citizens? The answer is actually yes. The Supreme Court has ruled that. Uh, that question was probably answered last week by Virginia, where the state's top health were about to make the coronavirus vaccine mandatory once it was widely available. His his stance, blah blah. There are several legal arguments that can be compelled to take the cure, whether they want it or not. Generally speaking, federal government to demand vaccine are limited, according to Richard Managing. Okay, but all that been left to the state, so I don't feel like see a federal government of superseding states. That being said, schools are appalled by law to require workers to be vaccinated. Huge extreme. While states legally could require and do that politically, it'd be very challenging. Yeah, I ran a poll a while ago. I uh, like most of us, are, like eighty percent of us, are going to resist it, including me. Uh, and I specifically said, if you were forced to take it, it was mandatory, would you still refuse it? Yet there are other ways in which the governments can limit the ability of students to opt out for reading on earlier. How they really make it require travel to be vaccinated for certain disease in order to cross their borders. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Besides, you're required to take this. This thing's all a hoax. Like, this thing is just designed to weaken you. Like, this thing, this thing is really bad. Assuming effective... Da, 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 da. Federal legal and man vaccine... Oh, okay, why do they repeat these two... Why do they repeat themselves in these two paragraphs? Also, I need to refresh the buffs on my, uh... Uh, on my characters. Uh, let me do that real quick. Alright, we're good. Um... Additional federal guidelines defined as a direct threat of work being required permitted to implement anti corona like temperature checks and uh, vaccine development may require employees to become vaccinated. Well, the economy is very yoked between the vaccine and the, trust me, they are not going to. Trust me, they're not going to do shit. Like, if Trump wins re election and they come out the vaccine, they'll make up some other bullshit to keep the lockdown going. Story continues. Yeah, I see you know, do, 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 wearing masks. Blah, 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 blah. I, I so fucking hate wearing I still have my mask, but I hate it so much. 
All right, Jerry poked out a lot of the security general have power. The vaccine becomes available, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? You know, as much as I don't want to, in a way, I kind of want to visit my mom and dad, just check up on them. I mean, they haven't called me or bothered me, so, uh, which I'm call it, which is normally what I would want, but, I don't know. Uh, it, might be, it might be good too to hang out with my old gym buddy too, who also li happens to live nearby. So I'm actually thinking, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to actually talk to uh, talk to my friend about it. He's the one that actually works in. Um... Oh yeah, so he works. He has, he has a very high level position, Dolce and Cabana. I'll just leave it at that because obviously I don't want to dox him. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, if actually because of it, most parents will likely be later having children. Da, 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 da. Most parents will like. Okay, now, now, now. They're... How long is this article? Control of herd immunity, blah, blah, blah. Harris Poll, uh, should require vaccinity for a long time. So that blacks who have been among the hardest hit should also receive priority. Yeah, that's going to. Funny enough, when they say something like this, this is actually going to make people even angrier. <laughs> Like the non-blacks, especially the whites that are constantly seeing, like, you know, black rioters burn their shit down. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. This is this is definitely going to turn out to be a, uh, a really dicey situation. I mean, which is fine by me. I mean, if you want to get the stupid vaccine, then get the vaccine, because I don't want to take that dumb shit. Oh, excuse me. Stock market news line on stock futures jump after officials tout progress on China deal. Uh, okay, officials from both Washington and Beijing see pride and committed to taking steps to ensure success. Phase one trade agreement, blah, 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 blah. So even, so even, see, here's the thing. China makes a lot of money off of America. So, and we're right now, we're not making a lot of money, right? Especially with the lockdowns and shit like that. And China, like, China, travel to China right now is actually heavily restricted. Um, you're, if, if, if you can miraculously get there, right, because China's already shutting down a lot of the travel routes because of, you know, coronavirus, uh, they make you pay, they make you mandate, uh, quarantined for 14 days in a hotel and you have to pay for everything. So, uh, yeah, it's very expensive to go there. Plus, I don't even know why you would want to go there right now, right, especially if you're worried about the, like me, worried about the exit bans. So, it's just, it's just not good. But China still needs to make money, so... Lighthizer, Steve Mnuchin, and Vice Premier Liu He may meant blah, 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 blah. contracts on three main after the market close. Uh, major oil component, Honeywell and Arrow appraise rate on tech. Okay, uh, handful of will go pull out money. the investor appetite for rest of tech growth remains elevated. Yeah, so people want money, but they have to find something good. So it's going all into tech. So, which is fine by me. Or other startups that follow their go public perspective among included Unity Soft. Oh shit, Unity is actually going public. That's awesome. Actually, wait, is Unreal Engine owned by Fortnite also public? So, I don't think Epic is Epic Games public. That's the thing. Is Epic Games a public, publicly traded company? Uh, let me look at this real quick. Yeah, I mean, Fred. Oh God, we do. We have a lot of kind of coverage today. Okay, we do have to read that. Uh, seventeen point three billion in valuation. Holy shit! They are a private company. Okay, right, that's good. Yeah. So, yeah. So Unity. Well, one thing I always liked about Unity is they always just had a philosophy of just working with everybody, which is actually what I like doing. Um, that also would mean that you can't be too crazy, far left or far right. You just gotta be, you know, moderate. You gotta be neutral because you gotta work with everybody. So, yeah. So I don't see Unity doing too many crazy things. But that's pretty awesome. Oh yeah. Shit. I just shit. I just hope that they don't start charging more for my shit though. Look ahead of Tuesday. Well, actually, no. They make their money from advertisements. So you know they have to provide me with the cheapest software. In this case, free to use Unity at least for one seat. Um, because if I, because if I make software, I have to run ads on it. Well, guess what? You know, Unity ads, you know, that's how they make their money. All right. I'm going to advertise on Unity ads too. Uh, like it's Unity ads or Facebook, right? To promote my game. 
Okay, I had a Tuesday, blah, 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 and that's the end of that. Okay, so there actually wasn't much there. Actually, you know what? We could probably just close it, because they didn't say what was the trade deal. It just says, oh, yeah, we're making progress. Well, that's, you know, whatever. Federal Reserve appears to be keeping new research. You know, according to Bloomberg, Fed is already doing it. Homer is the best. You know, research is. Okay. So the Boston Federal Reserve and MIT are working out a digital dollar. Okay, that's good. Uh, the Just in the right website that I read doesn't actually like this at all, but I do, right? Um, but I mean, I mean, it's gonna happen. It has to happen, right? Because you know, when China coin is out, right? Because China's still working on it. It's very, it's very much in production. They're trying to get it out as fast as they can, right? And then America doesn't. What does that say about America? Oh yeah, we're falling behind, and that's technically true. Right, so it's just got to have one. It's when they started man. I mean, they technically the U.S. dollar is already mandated throughout the whole world, so it's. I don't really see it being any of that different. I just see it as a as a boon to crypto overall because people are like, I like this digital dollar, but I want more. What can I do? And then they'll go into Bitcoin, they'll go into Litecoin, they'll go into all these other coins, right? And eventually it'll trickle down over here, right? You know, so. Uh, Kunha notes that his sister's like a Bernard says teams of Dallas are in touch with the Our research idea is underway. Brain Ard clarifies that the Fed has not yet the move to blah 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 blah. Yeah, I'm really worried about this mandatory vaccine because I definitely know that his shit lips, uh, de Blasio and Cuomo are going to mandate this retarded vaccine. Uh, NYC coronavirus vaccine mandatory. Because they're because um because when the Jews refused it was like remember last year the De Blasio made that little thing that says you must like get a measles vaccine and then he made it sound like you know Nazi Germany or whatever right they actually were enforcing the the mandatory vaccination a thousand dollars penalty uh let's see state bar group yeah it's already freaking happening here. Governor must consider mandatory uh, coronavirus. This is from, see, it thinks I'm in Australia, so Sydney Morning Herald's being an asshole towards us New Yorkers. Uh, Twindemic, oh my god. Now, now they're just making all this shit up. Yeah, if they make it mandatory, I will. I will. I will actually. I might actually consider just not paying my rent. Believe it or not, I'll just let them take. Just keep my money, because I don't think. Because I mean, I don't want to make stereotypes, but well, I just. I assume that the building and uh, the people in my building are, you know, whatever. Um, and they're just gonna leave. Just gonna straight up leave New York City. All right, I'll have to pay the exit tax or whatever. Right, but I'm. I'm gone. I'm just gone. Right. You know, I'm gonna store all my shit in my mom and dad's place. Um, well, no, I'll probably, no, I'll still be here, and then I have to, you know, hire a uh, colonial moving. So yeah, because if I have to pay a thousand dollars, I rather, it's like if I have to pay a thousand dollars, that's the same amount as if I hired the colonial mover guys and move all my shit down to Tampa, right? And I save money because if I go to Tampa, my my expenses drop by at least eight hundred dollars a month. So I save so I save a lot of money, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah, because I can't imagine Florida is going to mandate the vaccine, but you never know. But even if they did, they probably they tend to be a lot more right wing, so they'll probably just be less crazy at least about the penalty. In fact, a lot of people are just not even uh, doing the social distancing bullshit anyway. So. All right. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. All right. So one interesting thing I've noticed is uh, because I'm uploading on my proxy, right? I'm, uh, it thinks I'm in Sydney, Australia. Uh, I actually get way more views and comments because it's actually showing my stuff to. Uh, oh, that's hilarious! Did they ban BitChute on YouTube too? Uh, they uh, what you might call? They actually show my videos to Australians, which is fine by me. I mean, Australia is basically a white country, so you know they obviously speak English like I do. 
So it's the same thing. It's like, so it's like getting the American market without actually having to compete against the American market. So I actually get more more of everything. So yeah, all this stuff seems to be working pretty well. I mean, I would really like to use BitChute again, but the tech, their tech is just so bad. It's, it's like I don't want to waste my time. Um, so that's too bad too. If I did political videos. I'd probably be getting six, seven hundred viewers a day. You know, I'm just you know, and I, but at that point, I would have to become like Nick Fuentes at that point. But my destiny is different from Nick's. So yeah, well, like I said, fuck it, right? You know, it's just, you know, you know, gotta have to have to keep resisting, right? Because you know, at this point, I'm just getting tired of all this stupid sneaking around shit. I'll have to, I'll have to reach, I'll have to self-censor yet again when I become more mainstream. Uh, but I'll make sure I give as good as I get and just show everybody the plight of like you know uh, whites in America and how they're being genocided literally. Uh, and, and then, and because because uh, one other thing, um, one other thing is once China started that tweet that said why are why are why are Western and American governments genociding white people or something like that, right? I even talked about it. I'm sure. Uh, and then you'll notice, yeah, they really dial back the anti-China rhetoric, right? I mean, they'll still say Beijing, Biden, whatever, but it's it's nothing like super crazy like we're going to start World War III with China, which is what they're intending to do. So it's highly effective. Uh, so Also, it actually makes white people like us better, too, So which is good because the less people that hate me, the better <laughs> this will go, right? So, yeah. And obviously, the evil globals don't want that. Anyway, I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, wow, well, it's only 31 minutes and 30 seconds, but we covered a lot of ground. At least I feel like I did. And I got a lot of crap to do. So I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, I just wish crypto would go back up again. It's like, this is just ridiculous. But I mean, there's so much. Like, I really do blame this stupid lockdown hoax. I really hate, you know, that they hate Trump so much. They're ruining everyone's lives. So there's no money coming in. Uh, overall in the markets, right? It's only going to like Amazon and shit, so. But, well, what are you going to do, right? And yeah, my situation will uh, shortly be very well improved. So, you know, I'll be uh, I'll be back. At, actually, I'm already technically back in the green. I'm just going to list uh, Speedcoin in 100 coin on Oricorn Games. Uh, I'm hoping he can give me a discount because it sounds like he's open to giving me a discount for listing both coins if I do it uh, at the same time. So uh, we'll see about that. Anyway, see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And always remember, Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 100 Coin, Speed Coin. I decided to just take off 404 because I'm just getting tired of saying all these coins. Uh, plus, these are technically more of Mitch, uh, Mitch's brainchilds, and then he just ditches. So it's like, okay, man. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh... Yeah, I'm more concerned about this, so we'll just do this. Uh, yeah, I think this will be good.